Good Doug, how you doing? thanks for coming on. You sure. know what? Everybody knows your stuff. But, Great. but we do have some new photographers watching and they think mostly about cameras and they probably don't realize there are tools that can be used with the computer. And you guys build some of those tools. Tell us about them. Well, we, we, we actually create a, a bunch of different tools for different types of photographers as well. So enthusiasts, professionals, we make a full line of products for everybody. So if you're just a novice and you want to have fun editing digital photos, we have our Bamboo series of product, which are fabulous. Uh, they're available you know, throughout the country, throughout the world. And uh, these are tablets, they're tablets that we'd plug into our machine. Correct. And what do you, you do can, with you, it? You can plug them into any computer, um, PC or Mac and you're actually working with a pen. So the pen actually becomes your mouse, if you will. And we have something that's called absolute positioning. So when you go up to the upper right-hand corner of your tablet, you know your cursor will be at the upper right-hand of your, your screen. And it's just a very, very easy, intuitive, and natural way to work. So when you start to work with um, uh, 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 programs like Photoshop or any of the other uh, creative applications, it becomes real precise and real natural. And a lot of people never go back to a mouse again. Uh, that's Jared, true. do you that's use a true. tablet? I do not use a tablet. I don't do a lot of post-processing when it comes to well, that's true. touching up. Now, yeah. you know, if I was an illustrator or you know, doing things like that, they come in handy. And then you see the Cintiq screens. So am I saying it right? Oh yeah, Cintiq, yep. That's Tell us about the Cintiq. The Cintiq, we have a, a, a two actual new Cintiqs at the show this week. Um, so if you're swinging by the, our booth, it's uh, 1235 is our booth number. It's at the back of the hall here, so uh, please please swing yeah, by. Yeah, come by. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're showing new, two new Cintiqs. We have the Cintiq 22 HD. Well, first let's tell them what a Cintiq is. A Cintiq is an interactive pen display. So instead of using one of our desktop tablets, you're actually working directly on screen. So you're it, it, actually working on the image. Let me, let me put that in, in different words for everybody. It is a monitor. Correct. That you can draw right on. Exactly. Essentially. Yep. That's the, that's the simplest way yep. to look at it. Yep. So it becomes your your interface, your human interface with your computer and with everything you're working with. Now I've got one of your tablets. It's a big one. I'm sorry, I don't remember the model numbers. It's big. It's black. It's like this big. It's probably the Intuos. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. It's about this big. Um, yeah. It's an Intuos, like a five or something like yep, that. Correct. Okay. And uh, it's really big. And so when I'm using Photoshop, I can take a pen, I pull up the image, I take a pen, and I draw over here. Now, personally, it took me a lot of practice because I want to touch the screen, right. but yep. I'm having to draw on the tablet and watch the screen. Mm -hmm. It takes a little coordination. Yeah, there's a little cerebral gymnastics going yeah. on when you're, when you're using one oh. of our desktop tablets. And what I recommend for people that have never used a tablet, uh, put your mouse in the drawer for two or three days and just concentrate on using the pen because there is definitely a learning curve because you're actually unlearning the mouse, if you will, yeah. because we're so used to pushing and pulling a mouse that we forget that there's actually different tools out there that might be better, and, and the Wacom pen is actually a cool tool to use. But if you, if you find that you still have too much difficulty learning to coordinate like that, then you get a Cintiq. And, and there's basically no learning curve because it's you draw so right easy. on the screen. Exactly. When you're working directly on screen, it's very simple, very natural. That's why you see industrial designers, animators, game development, everybody uses a Cintiq now. Uh, in a variety of creative applications, from Photoshop to Illustrator, all the way to Maya, Rhino, Mudbox. It's incredible how many people are using our stuff Maybe now. we could even get you using a Cintiq. If they want to send me a 20, did you say 24? We have a 22 and 24. Oh, you know, just if, if a 22 or and <laughs> or a 24 showed up on my doorstep one well, day. if you guys you, want to do one for us, I you're do. more than welcome. Wait, I got a card right here. <laughs> yeah. You can see that gentleman right there after. That's right, that's right. Only, there so, you go. Um, <laughs> we, need to, we need to do that. Let's talk, yeah, about, let's talk about prices because, yep. you know, if people do want to step up their game a little, get a little more control, they can either go with a tablet or they can go with a screen, a monitor. Correct. And what is there? I think you're, you can start them out around 100 bucks or something, right? right. Actually, actually, we have a product called Bamboo Splash. That's our, uh, our entry level in consumer tablets. It's actually $79. 79 Whoa. bucks. Then we have Bamboo Capture that actually comes with a full version of Photoshop Elements and um, Autodesk Sketchbook. And uh, how much is that? That's $100. 
Well, then, how much does Elements uh, cost alone? Uh, it's about 80 six, bucks. Uh, it's about $69 <laughs> at retail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's ridiculous. Yep. Go then ahead. Then Bamboo Create, which is uh, $200. That comes with the Photoshop Elements, uh, Corel Painter Essentials, and Autodesk Sketchbook. So you're getting a $200 tablet with all that software. Okay. And then we have the Intuo series, which is the Intuo small, medium, and, and large. large. And actually for software packages for those, we have an, the ability to download stuff from our website because we figure most professionals are already having the software on their computer yeah. that they need. Yeah. So that's available for them. Prices. By the uh, way, before you move on on that, little known fact, my our friend Trey Ratcliffe, who does all the HDR stuff, did you know he carries one of those tablets oh, with yeah. him everywhere he goes? I do too. He's always got it in his backpack. He only will edit on one of those. But yeah, go ahead, yeah. how much do those cost? Uh, for the small in 205, it's 229. For the medium, it's 349. And then for the large, it's uh, 470. Uh, then the Cintiq models, we actually have four Cintiqs. We have the Cintiq 12WX, which starts at $1,000. The um, 22 HD, which recently replaced the old 21 UX, that's $2,000. Then we have the uh, Cintiq 24, uh, which is 26. And then the uh, new Cintiq 24 HD, which combines both pen and touch right ooh, on the screen, ooh. that's $3,700. That's only $3,700. I'll take three. Yeah, right. basically. Why yeah. not? But yeah. I mean, when, when, <laughs> when your job depends on getting it right, yep. uh, these de design firms that are using these things are doing huge jobs that yep. they need to use this type of tablet. Absolutely, the, uh, the Cintiq, um, you know, we have, we have people write, it, write to us all the time uh, telling us about the ROI of a Cintiq, and it basically pays for itself in about a month or, or two months. Yep. Because wow. you're, 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 you're working that much faster. And with all of our non-dominant hand features on the tablet as well, you're able to take all your shortcuts, all your modifiers that you normally are going to the keyboard for, place them right on the tablet surface, and you can just work so much faster. Yeah. I, let's see, how do you decide which one to go with? I mean, you, do, do you yeah. find that people yeah. will start with a bamboo and then outgrow that at some point? Sometimes, yeah, that, that happens. Um, uh, you know, and actually, you know, we do have differentiation on our product for that very reason, so that somebody that is using a bamboo and then they try an Intuos or think about using an Intuos, once they make that switch, you know, they're probably going to stick with that product. I mean, I, I think that if I had a 24-inch uh, Cintiq on my, on my desk, I'd probably... Uh Keep it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You're that's right. a, that's a hint. Yeah. But but you but you hey, probably. Hey, it's not the first time. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> but you probably also need one of the. If you get used to that, then the problem is you need us. You need like the 12 inch one to take around with you because now you're so spoiled. <laughs> you know. You you need the other. Um, by the way, like the the. I can imagine the big ones certainly draw a lot of power. The small one, like a 12 inch. That I guess you could take it around with you. Do you still pl have to plug it into the wall? It needs a 110 yeah, outlet yeah, or what? Yeah, the 12-inch the, the is, you know, I would call it semi-portable. Yep. There's still some cables that you have to haul around, but you, you can fit it in a laptop bag or a and backpack. Carry it with yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Did, yep. did, did I hear correctly that we're going to actually do a giveaway? We are. We're nice. So uh, we're What gonna, are we going to give away? Whoa. We're going to give away an Intuos 5 small tablet, uh, retail value 229 So... Whoever writes in or however you're handling yeah. this, we'll, we'll send it right from our warehouse. Why don't, do okay. you have your Twitter feed? What's your Twitter? Uh, Wacom. At, at, at W-A-C-O-M. -A -A -C -O -M. Yep. So why don't you guys go on to my Twitter feed. That's a good and idea. And when you go and tweet it out, make sure you put, hey, I would love that at Wacom tablet. Yeah. Uh, hashtag what? Oh, hashtag, hashtag PPE live. And just do that to... Um, just make sure that at Frodo's Photos in there somewhere as well so that we can track that. That's right. Then we'll get you the information yeah, and you guys great. can pick a winner. Yeah, yeah so thank you. go to, go to and, and I'll retweet yours also. Sure. So follow one of our, you know, uh, uh, get on one of our Twitters and then retweet that. Yeah, all they have to do is make sure that at Frodo's Photos in there and then and at Wacom. Right. Wacom. It's Wacom. At Wacom. Wacom. At Wacom. Because yeah. I know that at Wacom, yeah, make sure that that's in there as well so we can search for it. It comes from the Japanese word Wa for harmony and com for computer. So harmony between humans oh, and technology. Well, there you go. So nice. you learn something new every day. Let, let me ask you this. What's yep. in the funnel? What's coming next that you can talk about? Uh, 
we really don't ever discuss products, products coming out in the future, but uh, what direction watch, would you like to see? Watch, watch this, uh, <laughs> watch this spring. We're going to be coming out with some cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, you guys are the industry standard when it comes to these. I don't even know if you have a competitor because I certainly have never even considered one. <laughs> so we appreciate you coming on, and thank Thanks you also for donating one to the cause. We'll. There'll be a lot of uh, interest in people picking that up, so hopefully Absolutely. you see some buzz from that. All right, yeah. great. We'll let you get back to the show. We'll stop right, by later right. on. We're Thanks. Thank you very much. That yep. was great. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Leora. you guys, we've been going for a couple of hours.